What's up everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about how to make a high quality background for your computer. Let's get into this. All right, so what you're gonna need for this tutorial is Photoshop. All you're gonna do is open up Photoshop. So once you've got Photoshop open, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the new tab and that's gonna open up new document. You're gonna to wanna to make a custom document, just like it says right here, by going over here and selecting width of 1920 and a height of 1080, and make sure it's selected on pixels. Once you create that, you're gonna make sure that you have a white background layer. You're gonna come over here and select the pen tool. You're gonna to start making points until you've created some sort of mountain scape. This is where it gets creative. Yours shouldn't look like mine and mine shouldn't look like yours. So make it however you want to make it. Follow the idea of this tutorial and then you can go on your own from there. Once you finish the shape of it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click all the way around, come up here and press shape. Once you have that shape, you're gonna wanna come over here, select the arrow, and then these will appear at the top of the screen. Press fill and then make your color black. Now you have the very first part of your mountainscape. Now, you want to come over and select the pen tool once more, and then create the second layer of your mountains. Come around, and select shape once more. Now, it looks like it is overlaid, so what you want to do is come over to shape 2, and you want to drag it below shape 1 so that it's behind it. And make sure that you have shape 2 selected, Come over to the arrow tool, press fill, and press a lighter color, so that way you can separate the two colors. Now here's a cool tip. You can come down over to shape two, double click on the layer, and then come over to gradient overlay and select it. Now, if you go to where it says gradient, you can press on that twice. You can select two colors that you wanna be in your background. Now you can make it red and have that kind of cool red look to it, but we're gonna go pretty minimalistic here. So select a lighter gray color. So we're gonna select a little bit lighter of a black color. And then on the other end, we're going to select a lighter gray color. This makes a very cool look for the separation. And you can play around with the look of it by coming over here and playing with the angle of the gradients. Play around with it until it looks like you want it to look and then move on from that. Now remember, this is your background, so you can play around with this as much as you want. Play around with it until it looks how you want it to. So I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna go on to the next layer. Come over, select the pen tool again, and repeat the process. Don't forget to drag the layers behind each other so that you can see them separately. Now what you're gonna do for the last few layers is you're gonna come over here, select on the layer, and then come over to opacity. Drop the opacity just a little bit so that it looks like it's more off in the distance. And also drop the fill, and just keep playing around with it until it looks how you like. Now the very last shape layer, I like to make very, very light. I wanna make one color a very light gray so that it's still visible, and then I wanna make the other color as white as the background. Now when you play with the angle, you can see different colors and part of the background will disappear into the light, as you can see right here. Now, when you're done with that, drop the opacity and it really gives the illusion of depth of field and that it's off in the distance, just like a normal mountain. Now if you can see right here, I don't really like how this mountain peak pokes out of that because the colors are too similar there. So if you don't want to change all of the colors, what you can do is press shape four and then just drop the layering a little bit. Now just play around with everything until you like it and you've got your background. All right, all you've got to do now is press save, name it minimal background save it as a JPEG. I like to save it to my desktop. Make sure the file is as large as possible. Come over to one of your desktops, right click on it, then press set desktop picture. 
And now you have your own high quality background for your computer. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you liked this style of video and I'll do more of them. And if you're interested in any of the gear that I use in this video, check out my kit down below at kit.com. Also, I leave links to all the things that I use. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video and I hope you have an awesome background that you can show off on your own computer. See you in the next video.